Hi and welcome to another video for Auto Solutions Checkpoint. It's 7 o'clock at night on a Friday and I've just picked up a Vauxhall Insignia from a customer. Um, it's getting discs and pads all around tomorrow morning. So I'll do a little video on that and the process of doing it because it's got an electric handbrake and I'll be using the top done to assist me. I thought I would collect it tonight just for convenience because I was passing anyway. So I got my good lady to drop me off to collect the car and then it means all the customer needs to do is get a lift to collect this car tomorrow. That's good service. So here we go, that's it dropped off for the morning time. I can get, get to it bright and early. It's a decent driving little car. Okay, it's Saturday morning, it's 5 to 8 in the morning and we're just going to bring the insignia over to get the discs and pads done. Quite a nice colour for one of these. I think some would call it Jambo Red. 66,000 on the clock. Let's see what she starts like first thing in the morning. It drove exceptionally well um, over here last night. This will be needing service soon. That ah, seems sound. Let's go and get the discs and pads done. So before you begin uh, to do the brakes, you need to make sure your handbrake's off. The handbrake is off, but I'll put it on just to demonstrate. So put your foot in the brake, off. There we go. That's it released. And basically what it does when you've removed the 13 mils on the back calipers, you're able to lift the caliper off, no problem. Now you need to use your brake wind back tool um, whenever you're putting the new pads in. Um, so I'll just get this up on the ramp and make a start on it. Make sure you've got the lock and wheel key. We're going to remove the little cap covering the wheel nuts and the lock and wheel nut. Um, get all the wheels off and get it ready for its new brakes. You've just got to get all the wheel nuts removed and the wheels off, all four of them, just to keep my, my time level down. Now obviously Vauxhall need to be bloody awkward, don't they? Um, so this here is a 22mm. The most common ones are 17, 19 and 21, but Vauxhall need to be completely awkward and do a 22mm. So back to the drawing board. We'll take two. 22mm. Just go on ahead and get the rest of the wheels off. You've already seen wheels getting took off, so I'm not going to record it. I think this here will be the original discs on it. Um, so they do have a big lip on them as well. But this here side seems to be in decent enough flat condition. It's like even wear all the way down. But obviously it's definitely a good choice to get uh, brake discs put on it. Now this is definitely not even wear. Um, and the pads are really, really low on this here side. So that could quite possibly mean this here may not have been calibrated properly um, before, maybe in the last brake service, I don't know but it's quite a lot of uneven wear so what we're going to do with all of them is take the sliders out and grease them up and get them working nice and evenly back and forward um, because we can't have this with the new ones definitely not, because we're replacing the discs as well front one, nice and even wear it's nearly smooth, you can, you can feel it, it is scored but um, I would say it's even wear. Um, brake pads don't, they wouldn't really benefit from getting changed at the front but we've already got them and that's this is what the customers asked for, this and pads so. Above all it's always good to replace the pads when you're replacing the discs. I personally myself would prefer just to change the discs and the pads at the same time. You know when the pads start to run low get discs and pads and then at least you know that there's no problem with them. But that's it's nice and even uh, and equal as well because it's got equal wear on the other side on the pads as well. Um, but what we'll do, we'll get the calipers off. I'm going to start with the back. I'm going to approach the elephant in the room and get the back ones done first. So first off, I'm going to loosen the calipers. I'm going to loosen the bolts of the calipers with the manual ratchet, and then I'm going to do the rest with the electric ratchet, the battery pod ratchet. you're not supposed to use the battery pod ratchet for heavier things to loosen 
There's a voyage of warranty with them as well. Okay. Well, it would help if it was in the right direction. There we go. Jubbly, jubbly. Or as Borat says, it's nice. Yes, it's nice indeed. So put the caliper up out of the way. Just give it a little spray at the bottom and top of the pads. This will just make it come out a little bit easier. Replacing the disc anyway, so you can use as much of the phone as you want. The okay, best thing to use is a crack bar and an 18mm socket. That takes the strain off it, and you're not damaging your ratchet. I just feel, see, on. The insignia, this is the stupidest design ever, eh? Because you've got one of your uh, suspension arms coming across. Now the end of the thread is actually in the way of your um, nut. So you would basically need to be doing this here with a spanner. See, ideally I would like to do this with the buzz gun, take it off with the buzz gun, but there's literally no room to get the buzz gun in. I'm going to show you how to service up the sliders. Okay. With these, you just pop them out. They actually seem in good condition. Really, really good condition. So I'm just going to put some copper slip on these. But what I would do is see if they had been in bad condition, I'd be putting them on the wire wheel and obviously clean it up and putting it back on again. Just got to put some copper slip on it. And obviously, see these here little seats? for the brake pads. Now you can replace these um, but they don't give you them with the brake pads no more they used to back in the day um, but what I'm going to do is just get a wire brush in there and just give that a little clean and then put a wee bit of uh, copper slip on it as well. So all you're doing is just getting all the crud out of that. You want to get rid of every single bit that could prevent the brakes from working efficiently, you don't want any noises. Need to set this aside before we take the disc off. Okay, so it's a T27 to take the, the little bolt off the brake discs. If you just hold the brake disc, it should come loose. Not always can you be lucky like that. It just depends on who was in at it before. Like, just say for instance, it's had work before. Um, I'm convinced these have been on it from new. Um, so quite possibly that'll be the manufacturer's torque for it. So just need to tap it from the back. There we go. Just slight tap. So once you confirm they're the right ones, you check them by checking the width off them and also checking them side by side as well. Once you're happy they're the right ones, they're good to fit. So this little hole is the wee uh, bolt we took off. You need to line it up with where the thread hole is. Start it by hand. A little bit of uh, copper slip on the plate. Then that means when the next time the wheel comes off, it's no stuck on. Okay, so I'm using some brake cleaner. Montage cleaner. It's made by Manol. Very, very good. I like the smell of it as well. Look at that, minimal effort. 
and just give it a final wipe down. That helps you get rid of any contaminants that's on it. You're now ready to offer the caliper house and back up. We get the 18 mils back on it. Okay, so I'm satisfied. They're on nice and tight. Now ready to offer up the pads. I like the plastic at the back of the pads with the uh, copper slip. Doesn't do any harm. Just make sure you're putting the top and bottom covered. And always just keep it on the back of it. And always remember if you're going to be putting these on, they've got like wee markers when you're checking your brake pads over. Okay, so we need to use the wind back tool for the caliper. Okay, so I've lowered the car down to demonstrate how the brake wind back tool works. You find the right end that fits in the little grooves, see in here, um, of your caliper. So offer it up and then wind it back on the thread till it becomes tight. Right, I managed to break my wind back tool. I've managed to lose the end part. So you can use a spanner for this here, but it's not necessary. You just keep the, the strain on it and you'll not have a problem. If you do it gently, you're not going to have any fluid escaping at the front, um, up at the reservoir. So just do it as slow as you can, you'll not have a problem. I like to wind them all the way back, and then whenever I plug my top down machine into it, they calibrate it. It means everything's working perfect. That's us wind back. Okay, so that's one side done. Let's go to the other side and get it done. Interrupting the video, uh, I'm assuming it will be Thomas. The tank engine going past. I haven't actually seen a train going past here in a while on my video, so I thought no time like the present. The tank engine boys and girls, what do you think of that? So we're now ready to do the front. Now Vauxhall Opel GM thought it would be a great idea. Instead of just keeping the same rapport all the way through the vehicle, the calipers on the front have a 14mm bolt holding the calipers on. For reasons I don't know, why can't they just keep it all the same throughout the vehicle? It'd be nice and easy, but... Okay, so, Swanner. Loosen it. Thank you. 
So what I tend to do is I get the first big pad out. Okay. Always can be stubborn now. What I do first of all, get the big pad out. Just take one off them out, and then it means you can press the caliper back. Just using your screwdriver. On. Just get the screwdriver in the little groove, right? You can see it here. Hold the back of the caliper and just pull towards you with the screwdriver, just like a lever. And that allows your caliper to go back. So you do it gently so that you don't end up with the uh, spillage coming out of your reservoir, as I mentioned about the back as well. Okay, so that's it back as far as you can go. Now will the caliper housing be 18 still? Or will it be a different socket? <laughs> that's so annoying. That's so annoying. It's either 19, possibly 19. So we've got a 19 mil here, could be a 21. Oh, so annoying. Oh, so annoying. 21 mil. 21 mil, why do they need to do that? 14 mil, 21 mil. The back 30 mil and 18 mil. Why can they not just keep it uniform? Like 30 mil and 18 mil. There's no reason why you should be using a 21 mil bolt on the front. I'm having a wee crab it day. You can see Thomas going past again. Nah, wasn't fast enough. I did try. Well jammed on. Looks really manky in there as well. But you can clearly tell that the brake pads are pretty good on this. So the brake pads have been changed, but nobody has bothered their backside to clean inside this. And it's just a build-up of crap. So compare them side by side, make sure they're the same diameter. So we'll go and clean this up. Um, we've seen before what I've done, so you're not missing much. New disc on, um, we'll just offer up the caliper housing. So the caliper housing, the wee clips down here should look tidy like that. They're not perfect, but they're tidy. And I believe when work was done on them before, that was overlooked. Which is why we get to that load up about other garages, because all they're interested in is how fast they can get your car in, and how fast they can get it away, and then charge you the earth for the parts and labour. And keep your prices keen, it keeps your customers coming back. 110%. So keep your marker to the bottom.
Let's get the caliper on. There we go, that's one side done. We'll get round to do the other side. Just put it on laps again, because it's exactly the same. So that's the wheels back on, I've uh, put the crack water on the wheel nuts and also put the caps back on. So we're now inside the insignia and what we're going to do is calibrate the caliper on the back on both sides um, so that it's ready for the road. Okay, in order to do this here on the top done, you need to go into maintenance and service. Right. So in order to do this on the top done, you need to go into the maintenance and service mode. You need to go for the brakes. I'm turning the key around so that we've got communication. Okay, scroll down. Box off. Ignition on. Okay, parking brake calibration. So this is the one we want. Now, whenever you're doing the calibration, keep your feet away from the pedals, especially the brake pedal. Okay, so here we go. And you'll hear in a second what it does. Right, so we want to start this. So it's passed for initiating it. Okay, start. Okay, so that's a past. Good to go. So I'll just get the customer contacted and tell them to come and get the car. Have it, friends. Um, that is how you fit discs and pads on a Vauxhall Insignia. And more importantly, calibrate the rear calipers whenever you put it back together again. Um, a lot of folk would just say, oh, just use the um, button for it. But it's better doing it right so that there's no problems in the future with it maybe um, an imbalance, uh, maybe binding on on one side, at least that's calibrated and they're working equally. Otherwise it wouldn't have passed on the test. So it's now passed. And there we go. But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next video. 10-10 over and out.